This one here. Uh huh. Uh huh. Actually, fuck it. That might be a good one. Uh. What? What? What, what do we need on the oil bugs? Alrighty, guys. Welcome back to another episode of Ark, where today we are gonna be working on the hatchery. So technically, I already have started working on it here. It's this little platform down here by the water. Um, it, for when I am breeding my creatures, I am going to need a place with a little bit of water because there are some aquatic creatures here on Aberration I need to tame. But I think this is going to be a pretty, pretty simple and easy episode to get through. should go by pretty quick. Um, but yeah, one more thing. So I have brought over my tech generator. I just grabbed the one off. I just got another one off the island, brought it over with me some, with some element. Got me a mutator. That's about it. Um, on terms of a transmitter, I did not get one. And uh, I'd have to go back to the island to get one. And we might be doing that next episode, so... We're not going to get into it right now, because that stuff hasn't technically released just yet. Um, but yeah. So I did also manage to get me some oil jug bugs, some water ones, and we do of course have the element dust ones. So those are two creatures that, or those are creatures that we're going to be working on here later as well. But for now, I think I'm going to just get some walls up. I already got some near crafted I can use. I got my hatcher from the old base. Um, I could take my mutator with me now. I'm going to leave the element. No, because it's gonna, this thing's legit gonna get placed down, and then we're gonna have to like move away from it. So I'm just wondering where I would put the mutator, especially when we have guys like this that get in the base. So yeah, bugs still technically in the get in the base from back over there. So I do need to light that area up. And we're only lit up down here by the water, so that's actually kind of a good thing. Because this is where we're building, so no nameless. Um, but I need to figure out where we can put down this mutator where I will have no dinos near it that could get accidentally gen gender swapped. So I think right here would be fine. It should be fine. It's in the light. Um, yeah, that bubble there should work just fine. I can also increase that bubble if I need it. But right here would be just perfect. I need to like quit saying the same word over and over again as well. Okay, so I did get me some resources from the base here. Wall. So what we're going to want, we're going to want some doorways, right? Yeah, I think it'd look better here with some doorways. We're going to get four doorways. That's all I'm going to need. Um, then I need some slope walls. Just one of each, and then... What do I need for a slope roof? I'm, I need fiber. That's not hard to get. Okay, so I'm getting my roofs crafted up now. We can go place down the walls. Okay, walls are up. Ceiling's going up now. Now, I know the ceiling's not going to fit just right. I need two more. I was hoping six would work, but it looks like I need eight. Okay, so we do got that up. Um, In terms of light, I did go through here a little bit ago, and I got that structure up there. I have not even worked on my house. I still need to put down a bed. I've been just dumping everything here into the workshop there. But we got the workshop up there all put together as well. But now that we do have just the tech generator going, I crafted another roof that I didn't need. I'm hoping we can just go and put like lights up like so. Then change settings. Turn off automatically. Then boom. Now... That is technically more light than we had. I don't think we need it, though. Hold up. How lit up is this area without it? If, if I could hit the button. Come on. I'm hitting it. There we go. I mean, we could keep it this way. We got a lot of light coming in from this plant. You know what? We might just do that. What I might do, instead of having it... Come on. Instead of having it right here on the wall... We go in here, we take it, and we just, should say right in here, right in the middle, if I can get it to lock, or rotate, there we go, oh yeah, I always forget I can click it, then rotate, I always, 
always forget to change settings, update done, just so that way they don't turn on and off. Now, I think, yeah, that looks, looks decent. Um, it's bright over here, though, but that it is also daytime right now. Yeah, it's daytime up there. So we do have more light down in here, I believe. Or, this might be the area where it doesn't really change day and night. It might be just up there that it changes day and night. I'm pretty sure. I'm always, like, constantly around here by the lights and the, the, like, the glowing plants and all that, so... I guess we really don't need lights around. And, ooh, 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 I almost forgot. Because I'm pretty sure I did this to a couple of the lights up in there. Change settings. Intensity. Drop you down to a 2 and update. Alright, how about an intensity 1? Done. Okay, okay, yeah, no, that's a lot better. I think that's what I had upstairs in those ones. I might be wrong, but this intensity 1 looks a lot better. I'm glad that we can change the brightness of them with S+, plus as well. Alright, as for now, I am running very low on electronics, especially after getting up a bunch of that stuff last episode. So, what we're going to do... Is how do I want to do this? Do I want to do it like... Eh, 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 maybe. We'll go... Maybe if they were facing the right way. Maybe if I... There we go. That's how I want it. We'll have it that way. Um, We'll throw... Yeah, we'll throw the... Egg collect... The... Was it... Yeah thing that collects eggs over in here. I think I left that up in the fabricator or smithy. Alright, and now I do got the stuff I need. Alright, hatcher. Ooh, yeah, you're no longer gonna be a phoenix like I had on Scorched Earth. Because, yeah, you can put chitties in on this. Can I put you in? I mean, it offers it. Look. I don't have any chibis, though, here on Aberration. Huh. Anyways, let's get the nanny put down. I think I'm just going to throw her up. Let's have her about... Yeah, let's have her near the hatcher as well. So th she'll be like right next to it. So that way these guys' ranges kind of overlap, if I believe so. Show range. Show range. Yeah, they overlap quite nicely. One of them is slightly bigger than the other. And I'm thinking that's the nanny range. No, 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 no. It's looking up. Like, look up there. So the egg collection range is bigger than the nanny range, which is actually nice. So I can technically have... I can try and have some... Well, I guess, yeah, laying eggs wouldn't really af be affected by the imprint. Just once they're hatched. And I usually have this thing only turned on for when I'm, like, taming up massive armies. Now, I don't know if I showed you guys these, but I put two massive ladders up to the base. Which I can just run over and grab and climb up. Which it does... It is a little bit of a climb. Like, takes a hot minute. Alrighty. Now, in the middle of an earthquake here. Legit... Ooh, silica pro. Metal. Obsidian. Gems. Flowers. Flint. Flowers. Or mushrooms. Okay. But yeah, in the middle of a earthquake here, I decided to come down with my jug bugs. Nearly fell all the way. So what we're going to do here is... We're going to throw one of each over here. So that way... I don't know what I'm doing. I should have thrown these three over here. Jeez. So now I have to read cry element. These ones. So what we're going to do is we're going to get these three out. And with one fill gender change, we're going to get all three of them. I got a shoulder pet. Yep. They're all dead. So. Element. Change mode. Swaps the gender of nearby dinos. Gender swap. And boom. Now they're changed. Now we should be fine to go get these guys breeding. I might have messed up. Oh, I did it. That one's good. It's these ones. Yeah, we're good. We're good. For a minute there, I thought I messed up. 
All right, there we go. We got them all out. What I'm going to do here is behavior. Enable mating. Behavior. Enable mating. Now, are you guys going to... Yep. Now, can I get you? Hopefully, I can just get all these guys. Are you two going to go? We're not going to get a weird oil spill hybrid. Yeah, these guys ain't close enough. They keep popping out. I think it's you. Okay. You two are close enough now. You, though. Here we go. There we go. There we go. That should... There we go. Sometimes you just got to give them a little bump to get them in the right positions. Alright, now I know technically I really don't need this area to do the roll rats here. But it's just a nice kind of place to like do it. Because you can sit back in one area. Watch all your dinos go. Because say like, I do this a lot. Alright. So like on the island over at the tech base. I'd line them up on the platform there. And like I'd have a row of mammals going and a row of eggs going. And, like, I just walk by about the, the mammals every about 10 minutes because they were all would basically have the babies come out within a minute of each other because I just walked down the line. And then you had the eggs here, which they were just caught up in the collector, and I just pop them in the hatchery, keep the ones I needed, and crack them. In which egg creatures like this will go by very fast, especially if you activate this so that way the eggs get picked up. You'll know it's activated because the dodo starts moving. Same with this one. Like, she's holding still. Activate. She starts moving. Deactivate. Stops. So. You gotta make sure that these things are collected. Because, yeah. I had two eggs on the ground there. One of them that... Let's say, you know, let's see what we got. Let's see what we got for the, for the oil bug and the water bug. Alright. See what we got. Now, yeah, first one here is... Let's turn on automatic. Temperature, there we go. This one here. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Actually, holy shit, that might be a good one. Uh. What, what, what do we need on the oil bugs? Alright, I got a feeling, yep, you, you are, uh. Welcome to life. You were supposed to be a throwaway. What is this one? Alright, this one, though, is a crack. But legit. The first one we got of the oil ones really is perfect? Perfect? Alright, got rid of the water one. Uh, element yet. Do we got one yet? Yes, we do got the element one. We'll check out this one. Then we're probably going to call it here for an episode once we check out the element jug bug egg. And alright, again, this one is what we're looking for. So we're looking for stats in the stamina and stats in the oxygen. This one only has stats and oxygen. It's getting crap. The colors, though, are pretty nice. The purple and pinks. Those are kind of like Rockwell colors, though. Um, in which I don't mind at all. Like, look at These guys look the part. They look like they'd give you element. Like, the purple and black. Awesome. This one, though, it looks like it has more of a blue on it. And then that one has a darker. Like, ooh, that one has, like, a dark purple. Once, I, like, once you get a little bit of a better view. But I like the pink glow on this one. What I'd like is the pink glow, the blue back, and the purple body. So, but I don't think I'd get those.